Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through a speed clean of my main floor. I only have a couple hours to do it because I have to get the kids lunch as well as I work later on today. So I wanna accomplish as much as I can in a short period of time. This happens very often where I just neglect it or don't feel like cleaning for a few days and I feel like I'm just playing catch up. So sometimes I just do a quick clean up of the rooms that's not necessarily the most thorough, but it kind of gets the areas clean. And if you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a married mom of three. I have two boys, ages seven and two, and a four-year-old girl. I post weekly videos with cleaning, organization, and decluttering motivation. If you do enjoy today's video, please do give it a thumbs up, as well as subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a future videos from me. Now let's get this done. So here's my to-do list that I wanna accomplish in the next few hours. So I just wanna get the dishwasher unloaded and loaded again. Uh, wash the dishes, clear the kitchen table, as well as give it a good wipe, clear the counters. I want to get the family room a bit of a tidy vacuum and dust. Our front entryway, I want to just tidy up a bit and vacuum if I can as well. And then our garage entryway has become a bit of a dumping zone, so shoes are everywhere, coats are everywhere. I'll kind of give you a tour and show you what it looks like later. And then our craft room just needs to be a bit of a pickup and a vacuum as well. So we'll see how far I get on this, but hopefully I'm able to get most of it done. And whatever I don't get done, I will complete another day. This is the state of my kitchen at some point every single day. I think it's simply just life with five people in the house. So before I could even get much of the kitchen cleaned, I had to unload the dishwasher so I could start reloading it and then wash what dishes didn't go in the dishwasher. We typically run our dishwasher once a day. Sometimes it gets run every day, but most cases at least once a day. And I am so glad we have one because I don't know what I'd do if we didn't have one. It would just take me that much longer to tidy up if I had to wash every single dish in our kitchen. Vacuuming is a regular chore in this house, especially the kitchen area with all the food and crumbs being dropped on the floor. It's just so quick and easy with the cordless Dyson vacuum to go ahead, quickly vacuum around the table and that way we're not trekking the crumbs all through the house. So it's 2.30 now and I'm now just getting to the family room. So I'm just, I've already started to vacuum it. I dusted some of it, but I still got half of it to do. So hopefully that'll be done soon. And then I'm hoping to get the back entrance started after that. Our kids are very fortunate that they do have a playroom. So I had hoped that this would be where the toys would stay, but the toys do not. They do get tracked throughout the house. So the playroom essentially is a storage room for the toys at the end of the day when the kids are in bed. And as I often do, my quick clean will sometimes turn into pulling out furniture or doing a few extra things because I just on a whim decide that it needs to be done because it hasn't been done in a while. So this is the state of the family room. I just picked up a whole bunch of toys that were here. There's a tunnel and some balls and some Duplo and a whole bunch of stuff. And I just pulled this couch out and underneath it was a bunch of toys. So now that's all cleaned up and vacuumed. So now I'm just gonna focus on this half because 
there's laundry that needs to be folded. I want to pull this couch out as well because I know there's toys underneath it. So we'll see if I can get this done and get the garage entryway done before I start work today. how many toys end up under the couch and I definitely don't clean under here as often as I should. Let me know in the comments below how often you clean out under your couch and if you find a lot of toys under there. Folding laundry is simply a task that I complete every single day when I'm cleaning because I do do laundry every day. This is our garage entryway, but it could basically be our mudroom. It's our most frequently used entrance in our home. So we have hooks for my husband and I, and then for our kids to keep the jackets that we are currently wearing. And then we also put the kids shoes and sandals or whatever they're currently wearing on the bench. And it's worked really well because it's provided a place for the kids to sit when they want to put their shoes and coats on. When I do a quick clean of the craft room, I simply just go through the crafts, recycle what they don't need anymore, put the markers back, any scissors and pencils and pencil crayons back, just so that the table is cleared off and it has a bit more surface for them to, to use to do some arts and crafts on. So it's now three o'clock and that's all I'm gonna get done for today. I got the kitchen, the family room, the garage entryway and the craft room all tidy. So even just having the floors vacuumed, dusted, things cleared off the craft room table, it just feels really good to get that done. And then I don't feel like my house is such a complete disaster, but I do have to work later. So that's all I'm gonna get done for today. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel and then hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos from me. And I'll see you in the next one, bye.